Both Hillary Clinton and President Barack Obama had run-ins with the Federal Elections Committee. So where was the outrage then? Joining me now is Senior Legal Fellow for the Heritage Foundation, Hans von Spakovsky. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Sure, thanks for having me. So let's begin with this. Let's take a look at the FEC complaint for President Obama. He was ultimately fined $375,000. Uh, $375, he missed some filing deadlines. He did not promptly refund $1.36 in excess contributions. So right. that seems like a pretty big deal. Well, it was one of the biggest uh, civil penalties the FEC has ever imposed. And yeah, nobody at the time said, well, he needs to be impeached for doing that. You know, what makes this even worse is that the uh, ca supposed campaign finance violation that the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York basically intimidated Michael Cohen into pleading guilty to isn't considered a violation of campaign finance law by many former FEC commissioners or the FEC. How do we know that? Because the one time that the Justice Department actually tried to uh, prosecute a similar case saying that hush, hush money payments to a mistress were campaign related expenses. Remember that was when they tried to prosecute John Edwards. A jury did not agree with that and neither did the FEC. When they audited Edwards, they did not say that those were payments that needed to be reported. So. The FEC, which is the agency that enforces federal campaign finance law, does not believe this is a violation of the law. So that doesn't even compare to what we were just right. talking about in terms of what President Obama did. Also, what uh, Hillary Clinton was accused of doing in terms of her complaint that was filed uh, by the Campaign Legal Center uh, that said that she paid more than $12 million to Perkins uh, and the, the payments were uh, allegedly for legal services. Right, and, and they weren't actually. You know, the other thing that's so uh, uh, odd about this is that if you actually take the theory being pushed by the U.S. Attorney's Office, well, then there are many members of Congress who are in big trouble. Remember, last year it was reported that they've paid out $17 million in taxpayer funds to settle sexual harassment claims. Well, if sexual harassment claims, a settlement of them, if that's a campaign-related expense, then they were illegally using taxpayer funds to pay campaign-related expenses. That's how crazy this theory is. So President Trump, using his own money prior to the election, this would in no way be a, a violation uh, in terms of the, these, these finance, these campaign finance laws, according no, that, to you. That, that's exactly right. And it's not just me. Other former FEC commissioners, including, by the way, Brad Smith, former chairman, have said this is not a campaign-related expense. So a mistake to go down this road, does it appear that this, this is the road that they're going to try to go down because clearly they don't have anything in terms of rushing collusion at this point? Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. But like, as you have pointed out, they're going to have to explain why this suddenly is an impeachable offense but prior uh, very big fines paid by other presidential candidates, Democrats, that why that was not an impeachable offense. All right, Hans, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it this morning.